So today we're going to discover this Jimmy Choo flower out. There are many perfumes in the Jimmy Choo lineup and this one is in the same classification as Jimmy Choo Low. I did have Jimmy Choo Low but I end up dismissing that fragrance because it just did not fit into what I was looking for for perfume. I reviewed it a couple of years ago. I will leave a card up here or I will link it down in the description box if you're interested in checking out my review of Jimmy Choo Low. Okay, so I actually picked up this Jimmy Choo Floral in the 40 ml 1.3 ounce, and this is an eau de toilette. So this is pretty much a lighter offering from the house of Jimmy Choo as well as Low. And I, what I have noticed about these bottles is the Eau de Toilette versions are elongated. And I did pick this fragrance up at Burlington. And this ran me about $29.99 and it is the 1.3 ounce. Now I do believe this comes in three sizes. You have the 1.3, I believe the 2 ounce, and as well as a 3 ounce. The so 3 ounce is the full size bottle. So 2 ounce will be more along the maybe 60 mil. And the, this is the one. 1.3 which is around like 40 mil. So I did actually pick this up on a discount which ran me about $29.99. Now I will add in the description box below if you're interested. This actual 1.3 ounce at $29.99 was a little bit higher than what these are selling for on the discounted sites. On the discounted sites you can get a two ounce for around $35. Well I paid $30 pretty much and this is only a 1.3 so for $5 more you can get you a two ounce bottle if you like a Jimmy Choo Flora. Because you know that is what we do here on this channel, we aim for the discounted perfumes. So I'm actually wearing this today again. So I'll just spray my arm as well as spraying this card so I can give you a comparison from it being on the skin as to spraying it on a piece of paper. Now what you have in this fragrance is nectarine, tangerine, bergamot, magnolia, apricot blossom, and sweet pea. And in the base you have musk, ambroxan, and woody notes. This Jimmy Drew Floral opens up really, really citrusy. It's also very bitter. That nectarine is really strong and prominent. It's really, really tangy and bitter. And in the middle, you have magnolia, apricot blossom, and sweet pea. Now, those florals are really, really gentle. Those are softer florals, not heavy. Magnolia is the most prominent floral in this perfume. It gives off a really citrusy, lemony, waxy type of scent. But what I really, really picked up is in the base, it did smell kind of plasticky. So that was something that I really wasn't prepared for. And when it hit that stage, I really wasn't feeling that part. Because you know we're not here for no plasticky base. Now, this fragrance is very comparable to Jimmy Choo Low with its softness, but Jimmy Choo Low has peony, and the peony is a softer version of rose, so it, it's really delicate, it's really light. Jimmy Choo Low was actually too light for me, but this Jimmy Choo Floral is not as light, but it's still light. You really get a lot more out of Floral as far as the fruits. Now, the fruits are really tangy and bitter, and it kind of reminded me of another perfume that I have. So to compare this Jimmy Choo Low, to give you an idea of what I've smelled, is I have this from Christian Audigier Ed Hardy Hearts and Daggers. Now this fragrance is very, very similar. It gives off the same fruity nuance, but the fruits in this Hearts and Daggers, it's more prominent, it's more sharp. So when you compare these two perfumes, I will actually choose the Hearts and Daggers because the fruits are more sharp. The fruits are more prominent in the Hearts and Daggers and you don't have that plasticky scent in the base. This dries down really, really nicely. This also gives off a little bit of like a bitter, tangy type fruit as well but I do prefer the Ed Hardy Hearts and Daggers and I've had this in my collection for years. I got this when I did my first perfume haul you guys and that was almost three years ago if, it, if not three years ago. I actually showcased this one in that haul. This one is still practically pretty full because I don't wear them a lot but I actually did like this scent but it did turn a little sour on me. It gave me the same vibe as this one and it's those exotic those more tropical exotic fruits sometimes can turn tangy or bitter on your skin and that's what happens to me with both of these perfumes. Now I still think these perfumes are okay. The Jimmy Choo is decent. Don't get me wrong. It's not really a bad fragrance. It's just something that I would not pick up and wear. I do think it's okay. I think it's a nice scent if you love those more softer perfumes like if you really like Jimmy Choo Low. I could see you liking this but just with a little bit more added fruit. Also along the lines of Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. It gives you that kind of vibe but Absolute is a little bit more stronger. This one's a little lighter, but it kind of gives you around the same lines as those softer perfumes. Also, another softer fragrance, 
not a dupe or anything like that would be Viscomuto's Fury, that how soft that is. It kind of gives you that same vibe with softness. So that is my thoughts on this since I've discovered it and I've discussed it. The question is, will I dismiss it? And the answer is yes, I'm going to dismiss this one. It's going back to the store. You can get this cheaper honey on a discounted site. I will leave a link in the description box where you can find her for a very, very good discounted price. Now, as long as longevity, this did not last on my skin. I only got about two hours. Like, you guys, it's already, from where I sprayed, it's already dying down. I got about two hours, and then it turned into a skin scent. Now, the skin scent part of this, I actually did like. Once that plasticky base kind of fiddled away at about the maybe hour mark I was able to smell like this really alluring musk so I really love I love musk and perfume so I was able to smell that musk but it wasn't enough to save this perfume because I have so many other perfumes that has musk that I absolutely love I will not be keeping this one because I don't want to go through all of those phases just to get to the beautiful part of the fragrance like if let's just say like 75 percent of the fragrance i'm not i'm really not digging just to get 25 percent. that's a no ma'am i'll just pick up something that i like a lot better i will leave a link down below in the description box as well as this ed hardy now this ed hardy has been around for quite a while and go ahead and click down below because I found this for less than 10 bucks. So if you're interested, be sure to click down below. If you want something like Jimmy Too Low, but you want the fruits to be a little bit more exotic, I would definitely say go for hearts and daggers. So that is my thoughts on today's video. And this was Maven in the Morning. I hope you guys enjoyed this because we're gonna be discovering and discussing or dismissing fragrances on a daily basis. So I hope you guys are ready. So make sure if you have not subscribed that you click down below and you hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And of course, share if you care. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video.